Hello again, it's me. I'm going to walk you through um, how to do an empirical formula. And in this example, you've got three elements, and you're given in this compound, it's 36.5% sodium, 38.1% oxygen, and then 25.4% sulfur. So, we go back to our directions from the last video. And direction one tells you that you can go ahead and convert your percentages to grams. So in the first scenario for sodium, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to convert it straight from percent to grams and just say, okay, it's a 100, it's 100 gram sample, so it's 36.5 grams of sodium. And then the next thing it tells you to do is to convert it into moles. So I'm going to do a mass mole problem. And one mole of sodium equals a certain number of grams of sodium. And when I look on my periodic table, I get that it's 22.98 grams of sodium. So I'm going to go ahead and my grams of sodium are going to cancel. I'm left with moles of sodium, which is what I'm looking for. So I've got 36.5 grams of sodium, and I'm going to divide it by 22.98, and I'm going to get... 1.59 moles of sodium. So I'm dealing with that one, and that's, that's kind of finished at that point. I'm going to go ahead and take care of my oxygen at 38.1% oxygen. Again, I'm going to convert it to grams of oxygen. And I'm going to follow that same format. So one mole of oxygen equals 16 grams of oxygen. Again, I'm getting those numbers from the periodic table. I'm looking for moles. My grams of oxygen cancel. I've got 38.1 divided by 16, and now I have 2.38 moles of oxygen. So now I've dealt with my sodium, I've dealt with my oxygen, now I'm down to my sulfur. So I have 25.4% of sulfur, and I'm going to change it to gram sulfur on the same premise as the others. One mole of sulfur gives me, sorry about that, it's going to give me 32.06 grams of sulfur. My grams of sulfur cancel, 25.4 divided by 32.06, and now I have 0.79 moles of sulfur. Now, this is the part that most people do very well, and then they get, they get done with their moles, and they kind of forget. Don't forget. So if the next instruction was to find the smallest number of moles and divide everything by the smallest number. Well, obviously, 0.79 is going to be the smallest number. So I'm going to divide it by 0.79 mole, and I'm going to end up with one sulfur. Then I'm going to divide 2.38 by 0.79 and I'm going to get 3.01 oxygen and I'm going to do the same thing for my 1.59 and I'm going to get 2.01 of sodium. So I've got one sulfur, two nitrogen, and three oxygen. Okay, so when we rewrite this, we've got two moles of sodium, three moles of oxygen, and one mole of sulfur. So I start trying to arrange this. So I have Na2O3S. Now technically, that is correct. There's no problem with that at all. There is another way that you can rearrange this, though. Think of it this way. What if I have my sodium with my 2 there, and instead I switch places my S and my O? Now I have something that should start to look familiar. If I put parentheses around that SO3, now it looks like I have correctly made sodium sulfate. And if you think about it, the charge on, sulf on sulfite rather, is a negative 2, and that confirms right there that you did this correctly. So the full thing, would, either answer is going to be correct. 
This answer is going to show that you can follow the instructions and you know how to do an empirical formula. This answer shows that you truly understand what's happening. And then if I asked you to name it, again, you're dealing with sodium sulfide. So all in all, not too terrible. Okay, so in this next this next example, you've got 12.67% aluminum that I'm going to go ahead and change to 12.67 grams of aluminum. And I'm going to go ahead and convert it. One mole of aluminum equals 26.98 grams aluminum. And that gives me... Well, let's see, 12.67 divided by 26.98. Remember that your grams of aluminum cancel, and that gives me 0.47 moles aluminum. Then for your next one, you have 19.73 grams of nitrogen, and we're going to convert that as well. One mole of nitrogen is 14.01 grams of nitrogen. My grams of nitrogen cancel. And we're going to go ahead and divide that out, 19.73 divided by 14.01, and that's going to be 1.41 moles of nitrogen. And then last but not least, you have 67.60 grams of oxygen. We're going to convert that to moles. One mole of oxygen is 16 grams of oxygen. My grams are going to cancel. I'm left with moles oxygen, 67.6 divided by 16 is 4.23 moles of oxygen. So I'm going to go through and find my smallest number, and my smallest number is going to be 0.47. So that gives me one aluminum, and then I'm going to divide 1.41 divided by 0.47. That's going to give me a straight up 3, and that's going to be for nitrogen. And then 4.23 divided by 0.47, and that is going to give me 9 oxygens. So when we rewrite this, we have 1 aluminum, 3 nitrogen, and 9 oxygen. And that is completely fine. There's no problem with that at all. But if you remember back from the previous example, okay, so if you remember from the previous example, you could maybe simplify it or combine some things. Now, if you take a look at that aluminum, the charge on aluminum is 3. And if you really look at your nitrogen and oxygen, you could maybe simplify that into maybe NO3. Well, AlNO3 is not really what you need, but if you were to swap and drop the charges, it would be AlNO3, 3. And that is the best answer. This is good, but this is really good. So... This would just be aluminum nitrate. Now, why are they both correct? Well, they're the exact same thing. It's just one is in a more recognizable form. So the second one, the AlNO33, is in a form that you can understand and you could easily name. So I hope this has been helpful, and see you next time.